Being presented with the opportunity to search for a different type of vehicle, our hopes of finding the Pioneer 2 began. The Pioneer 2, also known as the American Diver, was the second made submarine in history and hasn't been seen for almost 160 years since it sank in Mobile Bay. When Sean contacted us, she believed she had narrowed down the search to two locations. Okay, so we are here today with Sean. She has invited us out for a very special mission, I would say. We are going to be looking for, it's called the Pioneer. The Pioneer 2. The Pioneer 2, which is the second submarine ever built. Correct. In the world? In or the in world, the, as in far the as world. we know. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so through some searching and detective work, Sean has invited us. She knew we were down here in Mobile. Um, contacted us to see if we could come help. So Sean, tell me a little bit about the Pioneer 2 and how you kind of got involved in it. Well, I, um, I have a background of being a private detective and okay. then when I moved here, I knew that I had I was the ninth generation of my family. Oh, wow. So I immediately got into history. Of course. And um, I, I couldn't learn enough about our Gulf Coast history and one of the things that I had heard about was the submarine which was the second submarine ever built. The first was built in New Orleans. The second sub was built in Mobile and was brought down to Navy Cove on the other side of the bay where they kept it until the Union troops came to attack Mobile Bay. And okay. the crew were on board a towboat and they were towing the sub into position when a squall came up and sunk the sub. Someone had left a, la a hatch open, Oh gosh! <laughs> so the sub went down and was lost, and this was in 1863. Oh my gosh, and I didn't realize it was that far back in history. Yes. That's incredible. Yes. That's incredible. And uh, so for 30 years, I have been trying to find a needle in a haystack, literally. Right. And um, just going by a few little um, clues, I hope that this wonderful crew that we have here today will be able to locate the Pioneer 2, also called the American Diver. That's awesome. So no one was aboard this submarine when it went under because they were all on the towboat. They were all on the towboat. Okay. And then can you give me, without giving too much detail, kind of what's led you to the spot that we're putting in today? What information or how did you find it? Well, how am I hopeful to find it? <laughs> um, well, first of all, I um, read any account concerning the Pioneer 2 and okay. there was very little because it wasn't here very long right. and not ever really utilized for its purpose. But there was uh, comments in a journal or two and then later on, uh, one of the gentlemen drew a uh, schematic of the of the submarine itself because he had worked on building it oh wow and and i sent you copies yeah i think you have those yeah okay um and then um i found information in corps of engineer records from dredging uh, uh records where they believe that they came up with the pioneer too but this was in the early 1900s and nobody really knew what they were looking at. Right. So they just disposed of it afterward. <laughs> so um, I went by old maps and new charts and Corps of en Engineers um, information along with the personal accounts. And I feel like I have it narrowed down to two to locations. To two locations, which both of those are here, correct? Yes, both are or in the in lower. This area. Right, we're going to search the lower bay. Okay. It was lost in the lower bay. Okay. So tell me what this means for naval history for Alabama if we find this today. Well, um, the Pioneer One was never found, so this will be the oldest submarine ever found. That's incredible. Built in the United States. That's incredible. Um, and, and of course, you know, bring open chapters of our history, bring it to life. The state, if we do find it, the state will take over and conserve it properly. That's amazing. So, um, uh, I feel really good about it. I really I'm, do. I'm excited about this. I really am. I'm, I love history. My whole family loves history. So this will be something really, really amazing to find. And hopefully, hopefully we can do that today. I know. It would be so awesome. 
So, um, but Sean, thank you so much for inviting us out here. Uh, we do have depths of history with us today, Britton. Um, he's been with us all week. We were searching for Randy. Um, so we've, we've exhausted kind of all of our areas for that. So today worked out perfectly to be able to come here and spend the day with you and see if we can if we can uncover uncover this mystery. So I thought y'all might enjoy some real fun. Right? For absolutely. Change, absolutely. You know? No, this will this will be incredible. So yeah, not that you know, not that y'all don't have fun. <laughs> Something a little different though. Something a little different. But still and, still and in our wheelhouse as far as searching and, and the, the sonar technology that we have is absolutely ridiculous. Right. Um, Jacob can read sonar like I've Never. I know. I've watched them. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> every day I, I search for y'all. Every day. I mean, I haven't watched television in three years. That's okay. Awesome. But I get on my phone and I watch all. Oh, with, that's really awesome. With you doing all the research and stuff, hopefully we can uh, narrow it down and, and be able to find it um, in a timely manner and we'll be able to uh, uh, dive on it and hopefully find it today. I hope so. Awesome. All right. So we are gonna actually head down to a different boat ramp. Um, this was just kind of our meeting location. So we're gonna head down to a different boat ramp where we can uh, put in, use the bigger boat. We, we're not gonna be able to use any inflatables today um, where we're at. It's just not not feasible. It's not necessarily, it, it looks okay right to. now. I um, think he is going to. Are you gonna use your inflatable, Britt? Are you gonna use? Probably not. <laughs> just looking at the rocks and everything. Yeah. I oh, think we're not gonna go where there's rocks. We're gonna be at a beach. I can show you on my phone, aerial okay, photo. Okay, the water column over there? Yes, yes. Well, it's just on the other side of that little spit oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, of yeah, land yeah. right there. Oh, so we might be able to use. So we might be able to have a couple different boats in the water. I'll show um, you right here. But again, looking. Sean, thank you so much for inviting us out. And we thank really, really, really appreciate thank this. So. With it being in the water and our sonar capabilities, Chaos Divers, along with Depths of History, agreed to help. We used the boat ramp located near the Mobile Bay Ferry on Dolphin Island and made our way around the peninsula into open waters. We're gonna go up and then left. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go all the way out and then to the left. Don't cut, hey, don't cut across there. All right, folks, we're getting ready to get outside this bay here off of Dolphin Island. It's beautiful, isn't it, Lindsay? Very. We're out in the ocean. This is the ocean to me. When I can't see the land over there, yeah. that's it. when I see an oil rig, that's the ocean. Watch for stuff in the water. Oh. <laughs> Fred, I love you. And you know you're in a foot and a half, two foot of water right now. So watch for stuff in the water. Using the charts and maps Sean had, we headed for our destination in hopes of locating the long-lost artifact. With the waters being shallow, we were kept farther from the shoreline than we would have liked, but we were able to scan out while maintaining excellent sonar readings. This, they dumped it in here. So pretty much we're looking at a waste pile that could have been covered over. They're on the right side. We haven't seen, I haven't seen anything yet. So. Spotting only a few tires, we continued down until we saw a random marker sticking out of the water. Depths of history is on the other side. He's uh, he's way back here. Searching, should be searching the other way. Look, at, there's a pole sticking up right there. Yeah, I just saw that. That's I'm wondering why. Interesting, right there. What's it sh is showing? Anything? pointed over there that's not oh, it a, looks like metal. that's not a rock nearing the marker our hearts began to beat faster we thought we had found the american diver i might have thought they found an old ship boiler that is ah. is that it oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm trying not to get excited do you know what that point that end looks pointed That's, that's it. You gotta get up around it. The sonar's in the way, I can't. There we go. That's it. I swear, I'm, I'm trying not to be too excited. That's a plane. No. No? That's it. That's it. 
That's it? Are you serious? Well, it looks like it could be. Oh, it Don't. does. It does look like it could be. Yeah, I'll pull it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Why is there a sign in it? Because boats hit it at boats higher tide. It. Boats hit it at higher tide. Oh, they would have. Yeah. Oh, my God. What is it? Is it pointed on that end? Yeah, it is pointed. Is it really? It fit the schematics and had been haphazardly marked so boats wouldn't hit it in low tide. I bet that, like, that's what's happened. People have run into it and somebody just came out here and put a thing, but they didn't know what it was. Yeah, you can just put your mask on, just put it on your, you're not going underwater. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You're just going to look inside of it and see if it's what we think it is. Britton was able to get into the water and get a great visual, and the more he described it, the smile on Sean's face grew. Okay. Okay. A little bar coming up at the end, with just like the picture. There's some little notches on the side. I can see like something on the side here. I want to know if this is a prop or not. Well, it could. It is a prop. That, yeah, they had to propel themselves. The bar that's running through. There's a bar that's running through. Not, not running through, but it's like. Oh. Hey, Sean, tell us what this means for you. Well, <laughs> it means like 30 years of work and investigations paying off. I, uh, I just want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I just can't. Are you? So without for sure that the front of that is pointed. Is yeah. pointed. Yep. Well, don't scrape on it. I'm trying so to iron. without being able to, here. with it being in the get water, the right? Get the right out of here. With just being going able to go off of the shape that we can tell from Britain's description and what we can see, how certain are you that this is what we are looking for? Well. Oh, it's solid. It's solid at the bottom too. So like, there might be more of it underneath. More of the part. Hey. Oh. Get the magnet out right here. There's a magnet in there. Get Do you that. feel this the is it? The shape of it is really getting me excited because right. of the, the um, schematic drawings that we have of the uh, Pioneer opening? 2 had oh. pointed in. Okay. And they were made out of, it was made out of a ship's boiler. So a ship's okay. boiler should not have a pointed in. It had That's to have right been here. molded yeah, that way, essentially. It yeah. Yeah. yeah, it had to be fitted that yeah, way. So. Britain. Right in the middle of the deck. Um, the whole like, can thing, you yeah. sit there you and put, put your, your feet, feet in, there? in there? Is there an opening there? No. So it's solid. Which it probably would have been. Okay. It's solid, but I can kick out the freaking hole. Well, don't do that. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not doing that, but I mean, I can feel pieces of it, you know. So, pieces Sean. Of broken off. This mm. is a hole. This is definitely a hole. This is meant to. So, and from our guesstimate, we, you're, you're thinking it's, what, approximately 14 to 15 feet long, somewhere in there, from where Britain started at to where we kind of know where that's ending is about the length of this boat, which this boat is, is this boat 17 feet? Yeah. So we're, we're right in the size range, in perfect? Size. Yeah. They, so they utilized a handful of men to turn an eternal crank that and moved I've, the propeller. I've found cannonballs in salt water before. And that's the that's what they do. And, uh, and they're literally, the crustacean looks almost like as pitted as this. Okay. So, if not more. Just one of them so Sean, what are our next steps? Like, where do we go from here? Like, okay, we're pretty sure this is it. We know it's been marked, but that's more because probably, we're thinking it's probably marked because boats were hitting it. Okay. Nobody knew what it was. Right. Obviously, nobody knew what it was. It's sticking. Um, because um, yep. they, it would have been publicized. Right. It, it's, a, it's a gigantic event to find the second submarine ever built. Lindsay, that's, oh, yeah. that's sticking, and that's years, years of barnacles. Yeah. 
Well, we know how a magnet acts on a car with zebra muscles. It'll stick, but you can still pull it off because the zebra muscles, so it's the same. Ah, no. So, okay, I'm so. Excited is what I am, dude. We just found a submarine. This is crazy. What are well, the next well, steps? You didn't just find a I'm submarine. jumping in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Sean said the next steps are that she's jumping in the water. <laughs> But where do, where do we, so where do we go from here? Well, I will notify the state uh, okay. historical commission. Okay. And um, notify them that, you know, we all came out here this morning and believe that we have located the Pioneer, Pioneer two. 2 slash American Diver. Uh, from That's all crazy. indications. How fitting is it? Pointing uh, in that direction very heavily. The, um, I would say, based off of your maps and, you know, kind of where you thought it would be, we're really not that far off, especially like we're not far that far offshore. Shore's obviously eroded over the years, so we, we look farther out than we probably actually were at the time. Right. So. We have to take into consideration the erosion from the mm -hmm. north shore. Um, but this is so exciting. It's absolutely incredible. I think it's pretty fitting, though, that with Jacob here and Britain here that it was nicknamed American Diver. I thought the same thing. <laughs> I think that's pretty How fitting. Ironic. That is cool. I think that's really cool that, so you we know. Just, we just didn't find a submarine. We found the second made submarine in the United States. Second made submarine in the world. In the, world. The, second? the second ever made submarine in the world. Now the first wow. one you said that they created. This is just. It, it, it floundered like, in uh, Lake Pontchartrain. Okay. Which we were just at Lake Pontchartrain. Yeah, like Alright guys, so... I'd say it happened all the time down like in Kings Bay. So we're... Stuff. Like you'd see markers in the channels just because there was something there. People just went out and put something there. So we're going to leave it up to the uh, historical, commission. historical commission and uh, this young lady behind us. And uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll get back a hold of us and say yay or nay. And if they did, Britt and I and, and Jacob and Lindsay and... And Sean here, we found the Pioneer too. American Diver. Keep diving, guys. It's not worth the stop. Love each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys later. What, what about you? Love you, bye. All right, and Britton? Adios, amigos. I can't believe we did this. <laughs> crazy. All right, then. We'll see you guys. We marked our GPS coordinates, and back to the ramp we went. Sean contacted the Alabama Historical Commission. Search Incorporated was able to assemble a team and investigate the find, while the U.S. Navy was sent to protect the find. Unfortunately, after the team studied it, it was not the Pioneer II, and the search remains in place. The object, however, was discovered to be a 19th century buoy forged from iron, a very rare maritime artifact that has been unstudied.